Yeah, our life is very hard, complicated, because we have to struggle for living. We have to struggle against the system. We have to struggle against the media. We have to struggle against the racist people. It's very complicated. Okay, I am uh, Tedros Aragai, refugee from Eritrea. I am married in Israel, I have two children. I have been here about uh, more than 10 years, working in, uh, as a cook in a coffee shop. Since 2008, I ran away from my country and I come to Israel with the help of smugglers from Eritrea to Sudan, from Sudan to Egypt from Egypt to Sinai, from Sinai to Israel. We experience a lot of life risk uh, circumstances, and, uh, but we had, no, we had no choice. This is the only option we had. The smugglers brought us to Sinai. They held us there in a prison-like captivity for about one month until we transferred the ransom money they are looking for. After that, they guide you until the border to Israel. Then uh, we almost walked one night, and finally we cross. And the Israeli soldiers took us to the detention center. Even if you tell them we are refugee, uh, they don't accept it. They just release you and give you a piece of paper and a ticket for travel from Beersheba to Tel Aviv, and you have to manage everything by yourself, you know. So we come by, by bus to the Livinitsky Park. We create over there like a, a network, you know, helping each other. Because the government doesn't care about us, you know. We had no home, we had no houses to live. Because all of us was new, then we used the Livinitsky Park as a temporary living place, you know. For one week after you get a job, you move there, you come there. It was uh, hard, you know. I don't feel welcome because from the beginning until now, we have the same pressure, we have the same system of uh, handling the refugee applications, uh, the refugee status. They don't call us refugees, they call us uh, like Mr. Nanim, Ken, infiltrator. Somebody filtered uh, illegally, yeah. The solution they, they are looking for is like pressuring you, voluntarily deporting, yeah, to go voluntarily from here. In my visa, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't allow me to work, but some uh, employers also welcome us, you know. But the document does not give us access to the public or social service, you know. Even I know the language, even I know the system, but the document will not give me access direct to just uh, basic rights. So I feel always afraid, I feel always ashamed, I feel always, you know, uh, different. Most of the citizens, the Israeli citizens, get alert about us, you know, when they see us. They watch television, they watch the news, they read the newspapers. So over there it's written about us a bad uh, story. Uh, you can see from their faces sometimes. Also the officials can call us a cancer, can call us a monkey. There is a situation like this in Israel, yeah. Color racism, yeah. After the state neglected us because they don't want to accept us as a refugee, 
then the community start to live together, helping, like supporting each other, such as renting a house, getting jobs. And we get married, we, get, we have children, but the children become victims because of the documents we have, the statue we have. So that we see that our children go to the king garden from the municipality. This is also a segregated king garden, it's only for refugees. And after that also they go to the school, Kita Al for grade one like this. This was segregated. At the beginning we don't feel nothing. Trust me, we don't feel nothing because we don't know the system, how it works for the children. This is the way they make pressure because we are looking only for the job to make a salary so that we can uh, rent home, we can have food, we can have basic uh, uh, needs, you know. We don't see what's going on with our children. So we create a group and uh, we have a volunteer lawyers, they want to fight uh, the children's rights. And we want to see each rule or each rights applied. Like segregation, no. They are children, they, no matter their statue. They, they, they should have to get dry rights. Our community problem is like we have lack of information, lack of education, lack of how system works, you know, so that we can organize and uh, be more powerful. The, the NGO come to help us. One of them, the Garden Library basically give uh, service for the children and the CSC is for adults. Community education center that give uh, for free for the refugee or migrants. It's like uh, an organization for the community by the community. Yeah. First, I, I get the service to, to learn Hebrew here and I become a cook from a dishwasher, a cook because I start to read, to write and speak fluently. Then I take a course about computer technician. Also, I study here Photoshop, photography, and I become a photographer in my community you now. At the end, also, I am a volunteer here, teaching people. We have a feeling of uh, having a future not being a parasite of the community or parasite of, for the government. We want to work, we want to be part of the community, we want to contribute for the community. If I could have a legal status, I want to be Israel, my home country, because you know, Israel gave me my child, Israel gave me my wife. Everything I had here now is from Israel, but it's not uh, official, it's illegal. <laughs>